what's going on YouTube, Alabama Reloader here, and good morning, current time, 2.48, <clears throat> left the house a few minutes ago, so if I'm posting this early in the morning, and you've kind of been following along for a minute, then you fully understand the situation we, we have ahead of us, today is a good day for something to die, hopefully, so gonna head over uh, do some hunting with my dad pretty pumped about that uh, just always excited to, to go hunt um, you know and kind of spend time with him it's always a lot of fun so and what's really exciting about today is the opportunity that we have to test uh, the McGuire ballistics uh, solid copper bullet the copper rose hollow point that they produce we have the opportunity to test it in the field um, I actually got off phone with Sam last night he's the owner founder owner designer whole nine that guy the uh, of McGuire ballistics got off phone with him last night we were talking about uh, some of the results that I'm seeing testing those bullets we're right now obviously testing velocity and accuracy with different powders and different cartridges. I've done 30 TC and 6.5 Creedmoor, and then I actually <clears throat> was able to get to the range and shoot uh, some 270 stuff also. And he was he was just uh, kind of filling me in on some of the stuff they've seen in terms of uh, reloading and things to, to do and kind of how the bullet responds as you increase velocity pressure and how it uh, it tends to shoot really really well uh, kind of wants to go fast so that's some good information so now we're going to take that along with uh, kind of what I've seen so far on the 6.5 stuff going to push H4350 higher and then I'm also switching to uh, Super performance. I, I was already planning on doing that anyway but definitely plan on doing that using Barnes load data I think that's one of the best velocity options that they list uh, for this for the Creedmoor for the 30 TC uh, you know shooters world match rifle that's going to be a really awesome velocity option that's actually the load that we're testing today is 168 grain copper rose hollow point with shooters world match rifle powder in the 30 TC so really pumped about being able to that one so uh, and then in 270 uh, I, my test I did it with H4831 shortcut really really good results uh, and so yeah we can I think we have room to uh, to move up with that one as well so awesome stuff looking forward to seeing how they do in the field you guys stay tuned Maybe we'll be lucky enough to have something step out that's worth shooting. So, y'all follow along. Let's uh, let's see what happens. I gotta stop and get gas first. Smoked him, smoked him, smoked him. He dropped, he dropped, smoked him. Holy, oh, 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 he dropped. Oh, he dropped. Oh, 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 holy, holy smokes. Guys, he, he dropped. He, he's down, he's down, he's down. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, 
Oh, 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 buck down, baby, buck down. Freaking Maguire Ballistics, 168 grain, copper rose hollow point out of the 30 TC, going roughly 2,800 feet per second. That shot, I, I ranged it to 150 yards to the feeder. He dropped like a freaking sack of hammers. Oh, buck down. Ooh, holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm telling you, this bog, where, there we go, this bog death grip tripod, man, it makes all the difference in the world in these shooting houses. Holy smokes. And this is the little adapter that I use. This thing was like 30 bucks on Amazon. Oh my goodness. I was just watching down this road going into the field because I'm set back in the shooting house because they cross this road. They'll actually cross this road. There's a bunch of trails instead of coming out in the field. They'll cross this little, uh, little road back and forth. Oh my goodness. I just caught his movement off here to the left. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, guys. Buck down. Buck down. Oh, man. Whew. What a day. What a day. I've been in the shooting house for about almost two hours now. Man, the whole, the whole reason I wanted to come out here was to try out these bullets and check their terminal performance in the field. 150 yards. I mean, y'all go back, watch the shot. When it goes off, I put it right where it needed to be. And he dropped. Oh, man, I'm pumped. In case you couldn't tell. All right, guys, y'all, hang on. Let's go take a look at him. All right, so I just now realized that I did not <laughs> film me going up to the deer or anything. Guys, I'm so pumped. Like, everything after the shot, it's been insane. So, oh, hang on. Oh. Check this dude out. Oh, nine point. He's got four, five on the left, four in the brow time, and then three in the brow time. Oh my goodness, guys. Holy smokes. Just a pig. Oh, man. I'm super pumped, but now, oh, time to make the long drive back. Now, I will say that McGuire Ballistics, guys, it dropped the absolute hammer on that buck. Um, go back, watch the shot. And, and uh on the video and i mean i i put it in a great spot i actually made a really good shot on him um i, I made a really good shot on him uh and went and cut him open and uh whenever i was gutting him and i mean it was just it was turned to mush in there his lungs were just destroyed liver destroyed it was all it, because that that bullet when it went in fragmented i mean that's what it's supposed to do it fragments and then dumps all the energy and then the shank uh it actually ricocheted because the shank exited out of the top out out of the top like almost where his neck and his uh, back kind of meet right there that's where the shank exited so that part must have ricocheted off a rib or something or who knows what, you know, shoulder blade, whatever it hit and uh, exited out the top. And there was actually a fragment. There was a fragment buried just under the skin that I was able to recover. I keep stopping in the middle of this road, but don't let my drive down through here anyway. So there's a fragment, it was buried. Uh, part of it was sticking out of the, the hide and so that's a big old fragment that come off. So that, that bullet 100% uh, did its job. So 
super excited with that. I mean, I, I obviously that's one one data point, but uh, you know, I plan on loading those up, getting some more of those into some whitetail deer, and just checking the performance with the, the various cartridges that I have, uh, at least the bullets that I have now. So it'll be the 30 TC. Uh, 65 Creedmoor and 270 Winchester. Those are the the diameter uh, bullets from McGuire Ballistics that I have I have now. So 308 diameter, 65 and 277. So just couldn't be happier. So pumped. I was I just blew my mind when he come walking in because I was on dope. I was on dope patrol. I mean, I, I came out here because I've, I, again, I've said it before, I hunt for meat. Like, I, I really don't care about, so something happened in my video and I kind of hit that pothole back there and I guess stopped the video. But So I don't really care about uh, antlers. I mean, obviously I do. I mean, yeah, if a, a buck walks out there like that, I mean, you heard me on the video, I go nuts. That's, that's the biggest buck I've ever killed. So bigger than that eight point that I killed earlier this season. Um, but my number one priority is to to put meat in the freezer. That's that's all I care about. So I was on doe patrol. If a doe would have walked out, I would have shot her. Like so, I'm just I was fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. And he walked out. I had a couple of does come out after I sat there. After I shot him, uh, I sat there for a while since it was kind of early. Still, it was just before eight o'clock. And so I was gonna sit there just like I did last time and see if I could double up and get a doe to come in and, and shoot shoot a doe since I'm heading to the processor anyway. And uh, I did end up having two does come up on me. Um, they walked down that road. They walked right to me. I mean, I could have stuck my arm out the shooting house and touched them, but uh, they were too small. They were this year deer, so I had to had to pass on them, even though those young ones those are the ones that taste really good i just passed on them and uh was hoping that a bigger doe was coming behind them but that never happened so but that's it you don't talk about man that <laughs> unexpected uh, blessing right there 100 percent praise the lord on that one because that was i was literally here to shoot a doe i was not expecting that at all and then you know, my dad, he, him and my uncle and uh, my cousin's husband, they were, everybody was over there. And so we all met up at the camper this morning, you know, talking about, hey, where are we going to go? Where you want to go sit? Where y'all going to sit? You know, all that. We got all that sorted out and headed out, went and got in that shooting house. And then just four, eight o'clock, here he comes. So super pumped couldn't be happier you guys heard it on the video and uh just awesome to be able to share that my dad my uncle they they put so much time and effort into that piece of property and uh for that very reason right uh, that's that's why they do it and so i'm beyond grateful that they do that it gives us the opportunity to go out there and, and have experiences like that so can't beat it but all right, that's where we're going to leave it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll catch y'all next time. I don't know if I'll be able to get back in the woods the rest of the season. Uh, got some stuff going on these next few weekends where I'm just going to be way too busy, tied up. I've already got stuff lined out. And I just I may end up having to take off, take off work and go hunting again. So hopefully that'll happen. But y'all stay tuned and see if we can get back in the woods and get another one on the ground. Y'all have a good one. Catch you next time.